There's certain things I can do with the guitar that other people physically cannot do. And they could practice their whole lives, they never be able to do it. And it's because I can do things like this. I've been a professional musician since I was 13. I started giving guitar lessons when I was 13. My dad was telling me like, you know, one time, he said he watched a video about Eddie Van Halen. Talking about he played till his fingers bled 13 hours a day. And my, and my dad goes, you played more than that. I grew up in, in Indiana and I, I was lucky, you know, like music was a big deal. Like the only person or the only people I ever heard my dad say was a genius where he saw my musicians. You know, everything he listened to was uh, was either very blues influenced or was blues. We had Yank Rochelle. I was able to go and see him play. When I was a kid, I'd stand outside bars and watch the windows. I actually got to, to, to meet and, and hang out with David Honeyboy Edwards when I was 13. I just loved it, you know, like I was just always obsessed with it. I started coming to Clarksdale when I was a teenager before any of this stuff was here. What Clarksdale is now versus the way it was when we first started coming here, I mean, night and day different. There's blues, all like all kinds of blues clubs now, you know, or, or places that become blues clubs, at least temporarily sometimes. It is incredible. This is like the blues mecca, you know? And it is literally ground zero for where this stuff started. Now it's, it's branched out and it's everywhere now. But from a historical standpoint, there is no place more important than, than this place right here.